So I'm gonna show you a, a little around this morning and this area is called the forest buttonwood so I'm heading into buttonwood this is what it looks like a little but as I get uh, go farther I'll share um, more with you so while walking here the other day I saw a nature park the forest nature park so I was very curious and excited to see what is this about and that's where I'm heading this morning. So I'll show you uh, bits and pieces. This is what it looks like. It's on the, um, how, do I, how do they say it, uh, Long Island. So. This area is on Long Island, the forest, Dix Hills, as they would say. But this specific road is called Button Wood. And then as we go along, you'll see there are other um, streets that have names and so on. But very, very, uh, so much, where are the words? I'm out of breath already. But... There's an abundance of, abundance of nature here. You can hear the birds chirping. There's a little red robin, I think that is. And uh, yeah, I'm out of bread already, guys. <laughs> um, so no more, no, not my face this morning or um, in, in, in any of this uh, video, but more so. This amazing place that I'll show be showing you, okay? And there is the sun peeking out. We will have a better view when I get closer. I hope you're enjoying the nature. It's so peaceful. And there you see the sun is rising. Okay. <laughs> The squirrels are just running around. If you see, I'll try to zoom in. He's gonna run away as I get closer. Right? This is the woods, unlike the pigeon in the city the other day. Uh, he's gone. He's like, I'm out of here. So, if you see, this is button what I'm on, and then you have butternut. So, butternut goes through hair. And it's probably a shorter street with a dead end. You just come around back.
Can you hear that, guys? It's so beautiful, right? It's like they're humming something. I'm gonna stop so you don't hear my footsteps. And at 360 view. It looks like a porcupine. I barely got it. Do you see all the leaves on his butt? <laughs> I barely got it. Wow. I was so lucky. So here's another street, and this one is called Parkside. So that goes up there. I think my my walk to the park is like a 20 minutes walk. I can't remember clearly. So Parkside, that goes up there. And it's probably a shorter street. I haven't gone through there. Maybe it's in another one of my videos. I'll, I'll be there, but I'll meet you at the park, okay? This is going to be super long if I continue. And look at this lawn, isn't it beautiful? Look at their patio, wow, or deck. Deck, I think that is. <laughs> it's beautiful, right? We can stay there, up there, and just slide down. What do you think about that? That'll be exciting, I'm up for that. And they have, you know, even though there is so much nature here, the people are planting their little gardens, their little flower gardens. And you saw some Christmas trees, hydrangeas, roses. Yeah, absolutely beautiful, right? Okay, I'll see you at the park. So I'm thinking we're almost close to our park. Um, I just passed Winwood. What does it say? Stung of Huntington Parkland. All recreational vehicles prohibited. Okay, so they, we can't go in there, right? It'll be fun to be in there to see what it's like. So I'm thinking. The park is almost, we are almost there because 20 minutes, like 23 minutes is gone. And I'm kind of out of breath. <laughs> but in a good way, I'm taking it slow because there are hills here that I need to climb up and then go down like a, you know what I mean. So from all the houses I've been seeing, they're like up on a hill and this one is like lower. How nice is that? You have some privacy on the lower flat, right? I was like, how far more? I thought I was around the corner. Guys, we're here. We are here, the Forest Nature Park. Here we go. I've always wanted to do this kind of stuff. 
and wow so let's see what it says here it says the forest nature park eagle scout project yeah i have to make sure i don't get lost right the location is on the northeast corner of buttonwood near the forest road in dixels okay here we go so let me know if you like this type of content I always said that adventure is coming and it's here I'm like my kind of adventure um, So I'll stop by at intervals and show you around, okay? So I, w I didn't have any expectations like, like, you know, if this is going to be beautiful or not. I, I'm open to surprises. So let's see what is this about? Oh, the grass is wet. Because I can feel my my boots at the tip being wet. Oh, I wonder if there's. I don't know if you can see that, but is that it? A pond? Hmm. Interesting. A lot of poop here <laughs> for a park I mean okay so it's a pond okay I'm just gonna watch my steps I don't wanna step on poop <laughs> otherwise my cousin will kill me it's like, did you brought poop in the house? Yes, I did. Not intentionally. So I'm going to go around a little bit. Not sure. Because I'm, you know, it's my first time. And I'm alone, right? So you might not get the best view because I need to watch my steps and hold the camera at the same time. Can you hear that? Are they having a debate over the girls? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, there's still a lot of poop here. My goodness, I need to wash my sneakers when I get in. Anyways, it is what it is, right? Wow, nice. Maybe I should just turn around back. Uh, there is a curve at the end. Yeah. Is this what you guys would want to see more of? Let me know in the comments, okay? Because I don't want to make this too lengthy or too boring but while we are walking and you're enjoying this now it gets rocky not poopy <laughs> um, oh wow not bad so I'm here at this uh, point if you remember earlier in the video it's not bad 
It's a small park. And I'm here at this place where it says uh, vehicles, recreational vehicles are prohibited, if you remember. And so that's my end. That was short. Yeah, but I'll be heading back now. Not so bad. And my boots didn't get all of that wet. Huh, not dirty. That dirty as well. Um, but I would like to share some reflections. I've been having a lot of reflections lately. And where do I begin? <laughs> Where do I begin? It's... From my previous videos, most of you would have known, of course, who watched it. Um, it has been a tough journey for the past, over a past month. Over the past month. That does that, that does, that's not good uh, English. Um, for the past month, it has been tough. Um, with adapting to the changes um, away from my mom um, away from the things that makes me happy that fills my heart um, and sometimes I try to understand all of this and I don't get it I don't get it sometimes. I don't get it most of the times. And then I wonder, do I have to really understand this? Or should I just accept it? Feel it? Whether it's being overwhelmed, whether it's being too sad, or too happy, too excited. Should I try to understand all of this? Maybe not. And that's why, if you have seen my posts on Instagram, Facebook, the yesterday, yesterday, I think it's gone. It says, whatever you're feeling right now, or whatever you're going through right now, feel it. Accept it, feel it, and then let it go. Don't hang on to it. And I was saying that, you know, I wanted to share some reflections that... I've been having recently and I know that making a difference fills my heart makes me happy and I miss that I haven't been coaching uh, since I got here yeah you are that right and um, for those who don't know I became a certified coach on 12th of of June so yay hip hip thanks to Coaching Minds and the team and all those who graduated, um, it has been an amazing journey. I'm so happy that I made difference in a lot of lives. I help people transform their lives in many different ways. And um, I want to continue that. But since moving here in New York, um, I'm going through all the changes. I haven't been able to do that. So I'm slowly making a comeback because I do feel there is something missing and there is something missing after reflection. And though I know it will take some time for it, for it to all work out, I'm okay with that. And that's that's what I want to share, right? A part of what I want to share, actually, that things might not work the way you want it to be at the moment or what you expected, but whatever it is that's happening to you, whether you're moving, whether you're having a new job, whatever you're going through a breakup, whatever you... What, what is the word? <sighs> Whatever it is. Okay? Just...
just embraced it. And it's okay to cry. It's okay to cry. We always say it's okay to be happy. But when it's cry, we need support. Right? We need someone to cuddle us. Not, I mean, as in a partner. But a friend. Perhaps mom. Sister. Brother. You need that comfort whenever we're, sor we're, we're sad. And... A lot of reflection I've been having lately is that I had a beautiful realization. Beautiful realization. And I want to thank uh, Vin. Vin. Is, Vin and I have become very close friends recently, and I was able to. You share that. And thank you, Vin, for not judging me. Thank you for not judging me. And thank you for listening. Hydranians, blue hydranians. The sun is rising up. You see that? Yeah. So he goes up the hill now. And yeah, getting back to, you know... The realization was that everything that stood in front of my eyes, I was constantly, constantly giving it negativity. And that was me. That was all me. My message to you today is to fall in love with yourself before you fall in love with anybody else. Skin tone, good looks, money, fit body, or sexy body, big, big boobs, big butt, <laughs> big muscles, biceps, whatever it is, it's all gonna fail. Fall in love with you inside. It's all gonna fade one day, right? I hope you realize that. Some people try to maintain, like, even at 60-something, their body, and, like, they're putting through themselves so much. And they think they're happy because, oh, I need to look great. Right? But that's not it. not it so fall in love with yourself from your soul not your physical being okay and that's it for for today's vlog we'll call this one a vlog and a little adventure a little i heard there's another huge one i look forward to that and i'll keep you guys posted take care have a wonderful rest of the day guys sending lots of love and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Um, so you can see more of this and where I go next. And of course, coaching and wisdom. All right. If you want to have a coaching session with me, we can definitely arrange that. Book a call and I'll be more than happy to help you with whatever you're going through. Okay. Hit that like button and subscribe. Bye.